Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Superman. Just kidding, it's just a regular person. But how? I mean people can't fly, right? Well, on our today's adventure we'll be looking into just that. The people from parallel Earth can fly. Yeah yeah, the majority of birds and insects can, and there are also fish, reptiles, and mammals that can fly, or at least glide, as well. But for a number of reasons, it isn't a gift which stretches to humans, who have long been firmly grounded on Earth. But, what if we could? The idea alone sounds like nonsense, so, how indeed? Using wings? Or using anti-gravity methods? Welcome to What If, and today, we're answering the extraordinary question, what if humans could fly? Before that, why not to subscribe, so, you can be a part of our exploring team, and ring the bell for more fascinating adventures like this one. So, back to the business. In the early 90th century, after hundreds of years of trying, humans finally achieved flight when the airplane was invented. But, the plane has never truly been able to offer the same level of freedom to humans as wings do to birds. Learning to fly a plane is costly, and actually, buying one is even more, and also, commercial flights are pricey too, and they come with tight rules and regulations, as well as rigid timetables and flight paths. If, in prehistoric times, enormous dinosaurs like the Quetzalcoatlus, which was the size of a giraffe could get off the ground, then why can't we? The simple answer is because we're too weak. Yeah, all the nuclear programs or armament are not the only powers you can achieve. Birds and insects specifically evolved to fly, have incredibly powerful muscles for the task. The humble hummingbird, for example, may be tiny, but it can flap its wings as many as 80 times per second in order to hover. You could strap wings to any human being in history, but we'd never, ever match that, cause our arms simply aren't powerful enough for lift off. But what if we could? Yeah, the next question comes out from our tongues is, how the hell will we fly? Kryptonians, including Superman, have natural anti-gravity abilities, allowing him to fly on Earth. Without it he'd have to catch a bus every time something happens in Metropolis, so, on Superman logic, one way humans could fly, is if we ever developed working anti-gravity abilities. But unfortunately, we're currently a million miles away from doing that. Marvel's Iron Man generally flies using his ion thrusters powered by his arc reactor, and there is hope for the future, when it comes to this type of technology, but it's also not fits with our current technology. As the last way to lift off and roam an open sky, is having wings. Even if we had wings, how would they attach to our body? Like on bats or dragons? Or like Maleficent? According to scientists, we are descended from fish came out of the ocean, so, in our parallel world, we probably didn't descend from a random fish who came out of the water, so, we will be the descendants of birds, in order to have wings, and to have the slightest chance of flying. If we had wings like from dragons or bats, attached to our hands, it might not be ideal for us, and where is the badass look if that happens? So, let's stick with, wings erupted from your shoulders, just like Maleficent, or Lucifer. So, today, we are going to totally focus on people with wings, okay? For a starter, many things would not be the same as they are in the present time, right? If humans were born with wings, then they'd have to learn to fly, in much the same way, as we have learned to walk. Yeah, like Drac from Hotel Transylvania, our parents might push us off a cliff. So, as all people can fly, for a starter, the sky will be filled with traffic. We mean, you will never have to take another flight again if you can fly from one place to another, right? Yeah for sure, cars would become less important as everyone loves to fly in the current scenario. And while you are flying to an important meeting, what if some random bird shoot a dookie on you? Yeah, if traveling around the world is your dream, then it could come true, you can visit places around the world without worrying about the cost. But, for the authorities however, human flight would make monitoring and regulating travel close to impossible, and would turn borders obsolete. 
But on the downside, it may be impossible to record and control the movement of people with the concept of citizenship and boundaries disappearing. The probability of dying in a car accident is 1 in 5,000. This means that 250,000 people die every year in involving accidents, and on the other hand, your chance to die in an airplane is 1 in 11 million. But as a birdman? For sure the car accidents will change into a breaking news, right? But in this world, flying would be more obstructive or dangerous than walking is now. It wouldn't require fuel, it wouldn't need a license, it would just be the ability of flying, which all people now bear, so, the number of deaths will rise up sky high as there's no precautions or safety methods for falling from the sky. So, in that case the saying, no airbags, we die like real men would make a great fit. Guys, do not get distracted by anything while you are flying okay. I mean, reject phone calls, and also, don't look at hot flying girls wearing frocks. So, in that case, flying safety precautions as goggles and helmets would become common and expensive as well as helmets, we use for our motorcycles, and also, authorities could enforce laws for flying. But, who will be monitoring these? Ladies and gentlemen, this is where police come into action. Don't forget, they also have wings, right? So, imagine a black and white suited policeman, wearing blue and red blinking light, following you. Oh, one thing we missed. How in the world would you look behind? I mean, we don't have side mirrors on our shoulders right? But what if we have a bird's eye view of the planet? Oh, that's spooky. Finally though, we might be giving up that ability to swim in this new world. Many biologists believe that humans, as we are, originally evolved from creatures that crawled out of the sea. So now, as descendants from birds, there we would lack the lung capacity or buoyancy to swim. So, goodbye to Olympic swimming. But, in a world where the skies were our own, then, would the waters become inaccessible, or perhaps, our wings would simply get in the way, right? Everyone has wings erupted from their shoulders so, we would need to adapt costumes with that. Yeah and also, ladies, don't wear frocks, okay? And also, there could be designs for emergency situations, where people falling from sky, and there could be parachutes designed to eject when frequent altitude loses. And what about bad weather? What would we do about lightning? There also comes the major difficulties as like, if you're flying, you might come across thunder and lightning, so, in this case every city could have a wire mesh over it, so that people don't get hit by lightning. More specifically, we'd see flight incorporated into sport, with the fastest flyer like to Usain Bolt. And that's what would happen if humans could fly. Be mindful to comment out what we missed, and also, what will you do if you had wings? Follow us and ponder the question, what if?